All right, so it finally stopped raining. I got my little cousin King at the yard. How you doing today? You good? All right. Yep. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Okay, so I got the young bull with me. So this is the plan of action. So we're going to move, probably end up moving the Viper truck, uh, the Chevelle. Don't crucify me for the Chevelle being outside after spending 28 years in a can. I didn't anticipate it actually running that fast, so I got to make room at the shop, but I've been doing a million things, and I'll tell you all about that later. So go easy on me. Um, I'm move the Chevelle out the way a little bit so we can pull the Impala back. Um, we plan on getting it running today, or at least trying and see what happens, see if we make some room, room sounds. Um, Phil will be on the way here in a little bit. And we got a window, but not ready for like an hour or two, so that's cool. And yeah, that's it. You ready? Yeah. Get to work. Get to work? Time. High five? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so this is all the stuff I picked up for the car. Obviously, a carburetor because it doesn't have one. Points and condenser. I don't know if it has uh, carburetor studs or not, so I got some of those. And I actually got to see what intake gasket it will need. I don't even know. I haven't even taken the Doritos bag off yet. So, I do have a fresh battery. So, let's see what happens. This is a fairly new Doritos bag, so they stole the carburetor not that long ago. 2005. <laughs> and never mind. So there's all kind of stuff in the in, in the intake. Sand and look at this. Look at these big old rat. Oh, that's, like, that's probably cat turds or raccoon turds. So we're not going to be starting anything today without taking the intake off first, so that's fine. Um, let's see if I can't, let me see if I can turn the harmonic down. And the Barracuda, the Barracuda was seized up when we started it, started working on it, and it took us a couple turns with a pry bar to even get it to free up, and then it ran fine, so. Nope. Nope. Okay. So definitely need a breaker bar on that. But we gotta take the intake off first before we do anything. Don't wanna suck nothing down there. But let's see if we can at least get some power. To salvage the day, I feel good about myself. Hopefully the rats didn't chew on my wiring yet. Ooh, I heard sparks. I heard sparks. I don't have any headlights. You got any taillights? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got taillights. Excellent. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty, okay. So the rats didn't completely chew all my wiring up. That's good. Look at that dome light. Hell no. Alright, alright. <laughs> the horn's not hooked up, so I can't check that. Uh, I don't want to do the lighter. Found a bag of weed. Sorry. <laughs> it's a lure. <laughs> yeah, I found a lure in the uh, Chevelle, too. Um, that's the van wipers, wipers. No, I see there's probably crap on those. No dash lights. Lighter probably don't work. Oh, wait, let me turn the current accessories. There we go. Oh, yo, we got, we got something going on over here. Some sort of air. The defrost works. Hey, I'm three for three when it comes to defrost. The Barracuda, the Chevelle, and this now. Cool. All right. Hey, that sounds good. 
nothing shot out the vents at me. That's cool. Wait, so I'm not tripping. That's coming from this car. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, all right, Ben. We got fan. We got tail lights. All right, my dome lights are all burnt. Burnt out, so none of that action. Um, so yeah. I, don't, I wouldn't doubt this joint starts then. Once we get that um, intake cleaned out. So I guess we'll end it here. Um, can't do much else today. Cute. Hey, yo, the dome light came on for a second. Hold on, hold on. That dome light was peeking at me. I don't know what I did. It, tur the door. it turned on. I swear that dome light was on just now. Hold on. Don't play with me. Look, hey, they're both on. Look at this. Yo, let me see. Let me see. The other one's on too. Oh. Yo. It wants to run, baby. It wants to be back on the road. That light bulb was burnt out. Wow. It's halfway restored now. Look at the door shutting. <laughs> okay. Yo, we in business. All right, well, I'm happy. I got, I got dome light action. Uh, let's look at the tail lights one more time before we go. I'm going to throw one of the inside. Yeah. All right, well, that's it for day one. We'll see you on day two. Here we are, day two. Got Dr. Feel Good, Impala expert. And we got the kid over there. He doesn't do much, but he's pretty good holding his camera. Sight. <laughs> um, let me show you what we picked up. So you wouldn't believe how hard it is just to find gaskets and somebody in the store that knows what a carburetor is and whatnot. So it took three or four or five stores to get just these three things. Um, there ain't no kind of fluid in there. So, just a tap and go. Yeah. See if it's not froze up. So, um, I'm going to vacuum all that out real quick. And we're going to see if it'll, if we can use a breaker bar on it. Because we got muscles today. We didn't have no muscles yesterday. So, we got, we got muscles today. So, see what happens with that. And then um, we'll go from there. How you feeling, Phil? Ready this, to go. This, this is your wheelhouse right here, man. Yeah. Matter of fact, let me, I'm going to input a picture of Phil 6 1 right. Yeah, that's a bad motherfucker, huh? I'm just trying to be, you know, I'm just trying to be on the road, you know? That's it. That's all. I don't want much. So we see if we can't get this bad boy started up. Tail lights already work. So that got me feeling good. So yeah, check it out. Day two. Right, that's what we got under here. That sucks too, because we're about to break the seal of the thing. That's all right. Gooped all up on it. <clears throat> or not. Oh, there we go. That's a straight RTV. <clears throat> yeah. I guess I probably should have took this off. Jeez. They look fine. You go RTV over the rubber gasket. It was really not trying to have a leak. Yeah. So, clean. Real clean. I'll pop that other one off. I don't see no, nowhere no water got in and rusted. There's some horrible, dang, horrible gas. That's that definitely would have ended up in there. Damn, what were you doing in '93, sir? '93. Ah, there you go. Oh, good. Yeah, that one looks a lot better. There's like little. This one has black gas and stuff in it. Yeah, what were you doing in '93 when this was last on the road? 1993. Uh, I, was in, I was probably working on this. My uh, your four door, 63 Impala four door. Mm hmm. Um, the young whippersnapper. Yeah, got new motor mounts. Oh, okay, he was heavy in the game, huh? 93, I was playing football. Maybe might have just started playing Pee Wee or something. I 
I think, I think this stuff was already in here because this stuff is black. This little gasket stuff is black. I'm not gonna ask you what you were doing, King, because you were negative six. Mm -hmm. So the valve cover came off. There's all kind of little sludge in it in the corners. So Temp sensor. Probably on the other side too, but there's no rust, no water got in. The rockers aren't loose. So still winning. Still winning. I mean, the fact that it was parked, oh, can I get that flathead back? <clears throat> the fact that it was parked semi inside and in a dry climate, definitely good. Yeah, so, but no, the, uh, the good, old, good old interweb was trying to get, you know, say he needs to be burned at the stake for letting these cars sit outside. And, but I'm like, well, I, that's because I haven't also haven't dropped the video of the ones inside, so. <laughs> so, yeah, that's coming soon, probably after this video. Um, probably long after this video. We're not gonna pull the intake off um, because it's clean inside the intake, and I filled all down in, so that'll be fine. And uh, pulling the heads off, seeing it's not all rusty or nothing in there, we'll be fine how it is. And the new points of condenser inside of the distributor so it'll be all right just pulling it or uh, put everything back together bumping it see if it turns over if not put the breaker bar on the balancer and we're going from there so yeah that's what we have You don't know how excited I was yesterday when we put the, the, the cables on. I heard. I was like, yes, the rats didn't chew my wiring completely. Okay, we're good. I got the smaller battery too. I mean, not like we're gonna hit the streets, but work. there ain't no bricks. Not even a little bit. That's funny, so we have headlights with no taillights now. Step on the brake. Well, that shouldn't matter if I put the headlights out. Let me see. We got headlights. Make sure it's in park, too. But yeah, no, I mean, it's, you, you got some wiring. It's in park. Um, we know we got power. Yeah. That's all that matters. All right, well, yeah, we didn't have headlights yesterday, so we're making games. All right, let's see when it happens. Clear. You got it in park? Yes, it worked. Nope, nothing. Think, call it. Yeah. Getting dark. Getting dark. Wiring. We got some wiring gremlins going on, so we're gonna call it tonight and uh, get back at it. Uh, maybe tomorrow, or later on this week. Need a whole bunch of fuses. And just yeah, basically find out what's going on with this wiring. But we have headlights now. We didn't have headlights yesterday. We don't have headlights now. What the hell? What happened? Headlights are <laughs> Wiring. Now we don't have headlights. So whatever. If I stand over there, we will watch. Yeah. You got the omen. Nope. Nope, not happening. Uh, I think we got spark on the battery, though. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay, you want to try to start it? It's, I mean, you don't have any ignition wires in there. There's nothing. Go ahead. Yeah, you're right. All right, well, we're going to wrap it tonight. Get back out another day. We had headlights. 
We had 10 likes yesterday, so till the next day, it'll start, you know? Process elimination, right? So, uh, we out. All right, so today's the day the Dusty Bubble gets his walking papers. It made parole, so we'll be heading over to Pontiac Dave's house, see if we can get it running. I got the kid with me, my little cousin King. Yeah, he don't have much muscle, but he has some muscle. Ain't that right? <laughs> so let's get the Chevelle out the way, and then uh, get the Impala loaded up and have lots of fun. Yeah. So the Chevelle's in there. Next to my other Porsche Chevelle. And the 70 Camaro. The 70 Camaro will be for sale soon. Same with the Cameo. I'll drop an LS in that. And then the Super B will be for sale too. 70 Super B. So now let's just get it loaded up. And get up out of here. Just got the Pontiac Dave's house. About to see if this bad boy will run. Hopefully, it's not seized up. And uh, it's starting to rain a little bit. But that's not gonna stop us. If you've seen that Chevelle video, which I'll link right there, rain doesn't stop us. So, wish us luck. Again. 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 Again? Again? It's stopping on its own. You're not stopping, are you? Yeah. Wanna do it again? Yeah. Yeah, it stops right there. Were you jumping it, or that's on its own? No, that's on its own. Oh. You put any points in this? No, I haven't touched it. Oh, you said you did. That's no, what I, you and your buddy doing. No, I bought new points. Oh, man, you been... Hey, I pulled it off. The points, the points look brand new. Also, if you haven't seen... Uh, if this is the first time seeing this car, I'll link the video for that above so you can go catch up on it and then come back. But it's the Dusty Bubble sitting for 28 years. I put a carburetor on it because it got robbed of it over the years. And uh, it's just a nice car. Originally a six cylinder car is what it looks like. It was originally tan also. And it was painted in 93. And then the guy ran into some money problems and sold it. And then it sat for 28 years till I came along and bought it. So hopefully today's the day it runs. So crazy how small this uh, master cylinder is. One pot. So that goes, your brakes are just a shot. Done deal. Yep. <laughs> Turn the key on. All right. Key off. Off? Off. On. Okay. Oh, I just need crank it. Sorry, the thing is loose. Can I crank it? All right. Frozen. It's not frozen. Oh 
I'm still not getting any of my dome lights. Okay. All right, here goes the laughing gas. Just keep going? Yep. All right. Hold it. Was that compression? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, here it goes. And I checked the oil, oil's full. Watch out. Goodness. Again. All right, here it goes. It's rough. Whoa. Is that the rockers? No. Oh. Hey man, stop biting me. What's wrong with you? Turn your headlights off. Okay. Hey, excuse me. The dog keeps biting me. I'd bite you too. Why? Huh? We supposed to be brothers. <laughs> has nothing to do with my dog. <laughs> what the fuck is he biting me for? I don't want to throw your rope. Stop. Oh, wow. What was that sound though then? That that rods. Was... Rods? Yeah. Toast? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It, it may not be, it may be carbon on top of the, the pistons, but it's... It was blowing out white smoke. I mean, after all these years, it's to be expected, but the water's definitely flowing. It's leaking out the uh, water pump now. What is? Water, uh, antifreeze. Oh yeah, it's also coming out here. Yeah, oh, that's where it's coming from then. Well, it does run. Wow. You got no oil, gas in the tank like you said you did. No, no, I didn't put no gas in the tank. I brought a whole gas tank with me. I can pour some in there. I wasn't Cause, sure. Because nothing's pumping up here. No, I wasn't sure if that if the gas was any good in the tank, so I didn't put nothing in it. But I have a, like a half a thing. Well, no, there's nothing being pumped up because this is off. Uh -oh. No gas was coming out. So there's nothing in the tank. Well, yeah, I have a I have a gas can full, about two three gallons. Oh, you want to put not without replacing that fuel filter first. No, as I'm saying, if you want to fill the float bowls in here, and nope, I know it runs. Doesn't run very good, but it runs. Yeah. Can we hear it again? What? Can we hear it again? Why? Why not? <laughs> it's been slumbering for twenty eight years. I hate to cause any more damage. So pull the heads off? Yep. And go from there? Yep. At least she's not frozen. <laughs> this one was way better than the Barracuda. It's also kept better. 
Well, actually, I guess not, because the Barracuda was in a semi truck. And it ran. Yeah, but it was it, frozen. But it ran. Well, yeah, it kept running. No noise. Yeah, true that. This got lots of noise. Hmm. I gotta run the numbers and see if, what, uh, if it's a 327 or 283 or what. Water it's got pump. good heads. Water pump's definitely been replaced. That's the newer style. Longer, long water pump. That's what belongs on it. On if it's like a, not if it, I mean, not if it's like a 61, 62, 63, uh, 283, or 27. No, it's perfect because it lines up. This That's, lines up with the edge where it should be. Hmm. That's the right water pump. For really? This, for this. And then the alternator's definitely been, uh, up, uh, upgraded. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. It was all right. Yeah, headlights. What I would do, I would undo this fuel line, longer fuel line. Uh huh. Get a fresh fuel filter. Put a gallon or two gallon gas can underneath here. Put the hose in it. Yeah. And then we'll try it one more time. But, okay. So for now, I mean, that was that was almost a full can. Yeah. That was a brand new can. That's the one okay. you bought me. Yeah. And it's almost empty. Oh, yeah, it was definitely dry as hell in there. Definitely. But before you, we cause any other damage, yeah. Um, do that first, and then uh, if you want to try it again with gas instead of with ether, yeah. Then then do that, but okay. get big better hose, longer so hose so you can it'll fit inside a gas can, and then we'll get it started with ether, and then hopefully it'll pick up and run on gas. See if it clears up. See if it clears up. If it clears knocks, up, knocks the carbon off. Yep. Then we'll get a, a, a water a spray bottle, water. Yeah. Spray it down there and keep it running, and then flush it off. Once that's done, if it if the noise disappears, yeah, you're golden. Yeah. If it doesn't, that's it. I think it'll disappear. I mean, this was sitting in a in a shed over in Eastern Washington, out the elements, with antifreeze in it. That doesn't mean shit. Yeah. Well, a lot of times what happens is the carbon is on top of the piston. Uh, my big concern is the dirt that was in there. I vacuumed that all out before we did anything, though. Did you get it into each port? Mm -hmm. Yep. I, I used a house vacuum. It sucked all that shit out of there. So, but yeah, no, I made sure and it, it, made, it had good seal and everything. So, I mean, all right, well, that was the easiest start ever. I mean... I planned like another couple hours here, so I'm basically done. So I'm gonna go fuck around the shop for now. So um, it runs, it doesn't run great. Uh, might be carbon on the pistons, don't know yet. I'm gonna get a, a long fuel line, gas can. But it starts off the key, so everything was loose when we were trying it before, so that's good. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get it to fire up, run on gas, and see what happens from there. I like this car more and more though. I, uh, once I put the trim on it, I gotta, I gotta wash it next. Now that it fucking runs, I gotta wash it. And then I'll um, go from there, do the brakes. <sighs> I'm excited. And I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of my, <laughs> my day. Like I said, I planned on a couple hours here and that started off too easy. So thank you, Mike. You said, you you know, it ran, you drove it home 20 years ago and that's it. I didn't change the points. I didn't change the plugs. I didn't change the oil. It has no gas. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll update that on the next video or the end of this video. Thanks.